morning it is still dark outside so the plan on uh putting the wheat in today or getting started on it has been a little hampered because it is drizzling they weren't calling for rain i don't know if you can hear it on the shop but it's drizzling it's not a hard rain but it's a drizzle so maybe this afternoon might be able to do something if it stops, but if it keeps going, then the goal is today is to work on these two Peterbilts. We're gonna take the fenders off, the mud flat brackets off, um, wheels off. We're gonna paint the frames on both of them, buff all the wheels out, install new mud flat brackets, new quarter fenders, service it, grease it, wax it. Buff the wheels, buff the tanks out, get the insides clean on both of them. So here's all the stuff that goes on them. And we're going to service both of them. They are 2020 579 Peterbilts. I think they got, I think this one has 520,000 miles and that one has 513,000 but they both have just recently got new crankshafts and lower bearings put in them. They got the updated crankshafts um, for the pack car motor. They are a automatic 455 horsepower. They have 293 rear, so it's a good fuel saving rear and pulling rear. Um, they were getting 14 gallons to the mile, 14 miles to the gallon on the way home. So that's really good. That's better than uh, the other one that I just had in 2019, it was averaging like 12. These are doing way better. So definitely a fuel saver truck, very lightweight, great for hooking up to a hopper bomb or anything. Um, yeah, they're gonna get serviced and then they will be ready to go, but they are sharp. I mean, nice looking trucks, clean, inside out, no damage on them. Um, so I really like them, nice trucks. So you'll see the transformation of them from this to what they're getting ready to become. Um, I do like they got the, the other one had a fin on it took off. This one doesn't, these don't, they come without them. But they do got the stainless visors on them. I do like that. Um, and they got the mirrors. Oh my God, we were driving home. I love them hood mirrors. You can see people coming up or somebody's riding right beside you. They do got the LED headlights. They got the chrome bumpers with the fog, LED fog lights. I like that too. The other one didn't have that. It just had the plastic bumper with uh, no fog lights. But these right here actually got the chrome bumper with the LED fog lights, so sharp. And then fog lights make a difference if, you know, if you go anywhere at nighttime. So, but yep, that's the... We were gonna do some farming stuff, but being this raining, we're gonna focus on this and uh, get them cleaned up, get them done. So there you go. Morning, spreading some wheat today. I got Pop, I don't know if you can see him. There he is. He's over there working it in. We got everything done on the home farm except for these two fields today. I had a little pump go up on the side of the spreader. So, it's rusted. No matter how much you wash these things, they are, and it was an $800 pump and it was about that big. So, got that this morning. Thank you, Brad and Deer. He met me there early this morning. Got it put on. Uh, back rolling again. So, on the last pass of this field, as you can see, Then I'm gonna jump across the road and start spreading on that. Uh, they're talking about rain around 11, so I don't wanna to get too far ahead of the Turbo Max, but keep it rolling here for a little bit anyway. Let it catch up. There's my cameras. So we got her all calibrated yesterday. Thank you for Nutrient for help on that. So we're just rolling now. So if anybody wants weed or cover crop spread, she is ready to go, calibrated, good to go. So I'll show you more in a little bit. All right, you see what I'm doing. Oh, 
I'm putting weed in. left side tanks. That is a really nice camera. You can get them off Amazon. I think 200 and some bucks. It comes with four cameras and that screen so you can see everything at one time. Uh, Case and Deer wanted for one of them shitty Voyager cameras like 1200 bucks. And they're nowhere near as nice and they only come with two cameras with a little screen. This right here is a big HD screen everything you want it has Bluetooth everything I'll put one in my brother's tractor I like to get one in my tractor eventually that's probably what we'll do this winter
I love these cabs. These cabs are just way better than the 30 series sprayers. Just comfortable, quiet. You don't have to set your RPMs high to run your pumps. You can still get the same amount of pressure and save a bunch of fuel by cutting the RPMs back, but she'll still run your pressure that you want. today I'm gonna to get this field done and then I'll probably stop putting weed in let him catch up because they're calling for rain later on so I don't want to get too far ahead of the turbo till um, I might go cut a couple loads of corn for my brother and uh, four rains to see what it's doing we've been letting it dry out for a week now so who knows? It seems like corn just will not dry down this year. It gets about 2021. 20, that's it. it. Seems like, and we're starting to get some colder days, so it doesn't seem like it wants to dry down as much. So I don't know. So if you see me in the combine later, I'll see you later. So I am cutting corn. I just got done spreading some wheat. This is the 115 day seed consultant. We're gonna go ahead and open this field up here at the home farm. And that's what it's doing right now. 115 day seed consultant. I'd say that's pretty good corn right there. dry land corn. No irrigation. Just straight up corn. I'll at least get one load off of here and get it opened up. This is the end rows right here. And tall too. I mean it's pretty pretty good corn, pretty tall, yielding really well. And the ears look pretty when they're going into 
combine, I mean, just real good looking ears. Yielding, exceptional. I tell you, man, people sleep on seed consultant, I don't know why. I mean, look at that. That's pretty freaking impressive. You know, we've had, what, three different numbers that went 300 plus consecutive. And, uh, man, you could, I couldn't be happier with our um, seed consultant program that we have. The early season got hurt by uh, the 104 day and the 105 day got hurt by the drought really bad and I planted it early, but it still yielded 189 bushels. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good for two months with no rain. And then the 108 day, of course, you all seen what that did. And this right here is the 115 day. So it gets a little wetter down here by the woods. You see the first pass over there, that's the ditch where the old uh, CRP strips were that we did away with. They didn't grow very well. I just no tilled into them this year. That's a lot of big, pretty ears right there. Good looking corn too. I mean, I'm impressed with this number. Just like I am the 108 day. So, going pretty damn good. This here is the last in row where I start the main part of the field. So as you can see, it's consistently running, you know, around the 300 bushel mark. 275 to 300, we'll say that. Just, just in case there's any skeptics out there. off that air out a little bit. I can show you more yield. I'm sure people are tired of it. So I'll just show you the corn going in the header. Patch of morning glory right there. Oh, there's a bear spot. It's really tall, you can't see it, but the tops of it's right about here on the window. So Corn just doesn't seem like it wants to dry down this year. Of course, it's getting cooler. It's been in the 60s consistently. So, it just you just can't get it to dry down and get the green out of it. Can't wait forever. All right, so I made a, I'm gonna make a path right through the center of the field. That's what it's doing right in the center. Pretty good corn. Right in the center of the field. Bringing it in there. So it's pretty much 300 bushel everywhere. So pretty happy about that. Very consistent between this and the 1087. So the 108 day and this 115 day is some really good corn.
chance of getting damn corn. It is. I just I was surprised this year just how good the corn is with the drought we've had. Pretty, pretty happy. Alright, so that's the end of this video. I'm gonna go dump this last bin on this truck. I'm going to move over. We got our other two trucks, Hopper, sitting over at um, the decob 115 days. So I'm going to go over there and load them two trucks for the guys in the morning. And uh, this is the end of this video. So like, subscribe, share, and please give it a thumbs up. Because for some reason, it helps the algorithm on YouTube so I can get more views and more subscribers. Just saying, you ain't got to, but come on. If I got a thousand, forty, four hundred, or fourteen, fifteen hundred views on a video, there should be like fifteen hundred thumbs up, right? Or give me a thumbs down. Hell, I don't care. Like I said, I do all this, try the videos, so everybody just see what it's like, and I don't hide anything, hold anything back. So, whether you like me or not, at least I'm honest and truthful. So, I just show you what's here. So, alright, see you later. The next video will start with the decal.